today the topic chosen for discussion is the review of the degree passed in civil courts which is discussed in section 114 order 47 and rule 1 this uh, the section 114 um, the provision has been laid down for the review and order 47 uh, details about the procedure to be followed in review uh, and rule, rule 1 also uh, says about the parties to the suit so these are all about the sections uh, review என்பது மறு சீராய்வு மறு பரிசீலனை ஒரு கோர்ட்டு தீர்ப்பு வழங்கியவுடன் அதனை அதே கோர்ட்டு மறுபரிசீலனைக்கு பாதிக்கப்பட்ட நபர் அவர் அப்பீல் செய்ய அப்ளிகேஷன் கொடுத்து அதனை மறுசீராய்வு செய்ய சொல்லுதல் இதற்கு ரெவியூ என்று பெயர் இந்த ரெவியூ ஆன பெட்டிஷன் கொடுப்பது பொதுவாக அப்பீல் செய்ய முடியா அப்பீல் செய்ய முடியாத வழக்குகளுக்கு இந்த ரெவியூ பொருந்தும் ஸோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபட் இட் இதில் முக்கியமானது ரெவியூ மறுசீராய்வில் எந்த கோர்ட்டு தீர்ப்பளித்ததோ அதே கோர்ட்டில் ரெவியூக்கு அப்ளை செய்ய வேண்டும் அதோடு அல்லாமல் அந்த ஜட்ஜே அதனை மறுபடியும் மறுசீராய்வு செய்து அதற்கு டிகிரி கொடுக்க வேண்டும் தவிர்க்க முடியாத பட்சத்தில் ஒரு கால் அதே ஜட்ஜ் மறுபடியும் அந்த மறுசீராய்வை செய்ய முடியவில்லை என்றால் வேறு ஒருவர் செய்யலாம் ஆனால் முழுக்க முழுக்க முதலாவதாக எந்த ஜட்ஜு அந்த வழக்கை வழக்குக்கு தீர்ப்பு அளித்தாரோ அவரே அதே கோர்ட்டில் அதே ஜட்ஜு அதனை மறுசீராய்வு செய்ய வேண்டும் என்பது நியதி ஸோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் தி ரெவியூ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நேச்சர் அண்ட் ஸ்கோப் வாட் இஸ் மென் பை ரெவியூ ரெவியூ மீன்ஸ் ரீவியூ தட் இஸ் ரீகன்சிடரேஷன் ஆஃப் த இஷ்யூ ரீகன்சிடரேஷன் ஆர் லுக் ஆஃப்டர் ஆர் டு ரீ எக்ஸாமின் மறுசீராய்வு மறுபடியும் அதனை ஆய்தல் மறுபடியும் அதனை பார்த்தல் என்ற நோக்கத்தில் வரும் so review or that is review means judicial reexamination judicial examination of the order or judgment by the same court and the same judge so yeah, yeah, the uh, decreed um, court cases the suits are to be uh, reviewed again or to be reconsidered or reexamined again by the same court by the same judge that is called review so judgment is final cannot change usually the judgment given by the court cannot be um, taken up again in the same court but in extraordinary circumstances they, this can be taken up for review that that is the section 14 so section 14 is an exception to such rule so again it cannot be taken up in the same court but exception has been given by the section 14 so the provision has been laid down in section 14 section 114 to review the um, decreed cases again uh, then who can uh, apply for review the aggrieved party so naturally a party who, who is a successful party and who is a aggrieved party the aggrieved unsuccessful party or aggrieved party can apply for review of judgment when no appeal or no provision for appeal when there is no appeal or no provision for appeal a review can be made by the aggrieved party aggrieved party means an unsuccessful party then review is not an appeal object of review so why this uh, provision has been laid down to prevent the miscarriage of justice 
so justice should be given by any means if at all if there is some uh, the judgment uh, the due to some the reasons we are going to see suppose uh, suppose if uh, uh, any mistake or error apparent in the face of uh, uh, record or in the uh, evidence or uh, some evidence again to be produced in these cases the review can be made so the uh, no, no review can be is not an appeal to prevent miscarriage of justice so to prevent the miscarriage of justice the review provision has been given and then who may apply for review uh, we already told you the agreed aggrieved party only can go for apply for the review and uh, court cannot uh, take the case on suo motto suo motto means the court itself can take up the matter for review or re examination or uh, uh, for uh, direction of uh, um, certain things but uh, the for as far as review concerned uh, suo motto is not allowed only the agreed party can apply to the court uh, to the same court on the degree judgment then uh, usually the error apparent on the face of record on this basis only the uh, review can be made then who can uh, apply for the review when when can an application for review made when the review can be made so when an aggrieved party aggrieved by a degree or, or order so the unsuccessful party is otherwise called aggrieved party so he is aggrieved by the degree and uh, the, if there is certain error in uh, judgment or in the face of the record then he can go for the review then when appeal allowed na no, no, not preferred but when appeal is allowed when the appeal is uh, can be allowed but uh, it is not preferred when uh, when such is the case the review can be made then when aggrieved by a decision on reference from court of small cases so there should be an aggrieved by a decision by, from the small cause court in such case the review can be made grounds for filing review application what are the uh, reasons for filing the review petition grounds under what uh, uh, grounds the review can be made on three points one is discovery of new important matter or evidence suppose uh, at that uh, after diligent um, by the uh, uh, by careful consideration of the party they have brought the evidence and other things but even then due diligence uh, has not been taken at the time of uh, producing new evidence for the in the case of review and that has to be proved by all diligent evidence uh, the new evidence which is supposed to be produced in the review case has to be Uh, proved by the the party or the aggrieved party who is applying for the review so then the review can be made so new uh, the new evidence has to be brought in the um, review petition then another thing when appeal allowed uh, then mistake or error apparent on the form of record or error on the form of record also the error apparent on the form of the face of record means on the face of record mistake of law or mistake of fact may be there and if it is found out then the review petition can be made so it has to be carefully done and even by careful scrutiny and all the error error on the face of record should be proved this may sometimes by argument also this error on the face of record will be surfaced then 
uh, any other uh, sufficient reason uh, apart from that sufficient other reasons also uh, can be the ground for uh, the review say it may be error of uh, fact error of law or these things are to be proved and if at all if it, if those things are brought in the um, uh, application for review the it is the ground for the review petition then uh, review in appealable case uh, re review appeal allowed but not pre preferred appeal they can go for appeal in the already decreed um, um, case or already decreed suit the already decreed suit appeal can be is allowed but the party is not the but it is not preferred in such a case only the review can be made and uh, review in non appealable case uh, in non appealable case generally in non appealable case the review petition can be given so these are all the uh, then application were rejected sometimes when there is no ground for uh, uh, the re review then it can be straight away rejected by the court no sufficient ground for a review rejecting the application so the application be rejected the cause of action will not be there or already cause of action is there and they have taken up the um, uh, um, decree and uh, it uh, the order passed by the court so in such a case so uh, now the for the fresh review when there is no ground for the fresh uh, uh, review petition uh, uh, straight away it can be rejected then application were granted without prior notice to opposite party when uh, application were, were granted uh, application for review can be granted provided uh, without uh, prior notice to the opposite party and also to enable him uh, to appear and be heard be heard in support of the degree so when such is the case uh, the application uh, granted were granted without prior when it can be granted without prior notice to the uh, party opposite party and also to enable him to appear in the case then now the uh, not granted when the application is not granted the applicant alleges not within his knowledge or without strict proof of allegation so whenever the applicant alleges that uh, some allegations are found out uh, then he can uh, go for the appeal then the case study that is ms mm thomas versus state of kerala 2000 in this case the high court uh, has power to correct the records whenever the high court found if the records are not it is the court of record high court is always called court of record if at all if any error is found on the um, decreed cases it can go for correction of records that is uh, the power to correct records high court has the power plenary power that is enormous power to correct the records that is the uh, essence of this uh, case study so it um, tamil the maru siraivu alladhu re examination or uh, that is looking again to reconsider the uh, decreed suits already courtil uh, ஆர்டர் கொடுத்த ஒன்றை மறுபடியும் அதனை மறுசீராய்வு செய்வதற்காக அக்ரீவ்டு பார்ட்டி கோர்ட்டுக்கு மனு கொடுத்து அதே கோர்ட்டில் அதே ஜட்ஜு வாயிலாக மறுபடியும் ரிவியூ செய்ய வைக்க வைப்பதற்கு கொடுக்கும் மனு தேர் இஸ் நோ தி அப்பீல் கேன் பி இன் பி தண்டர்ட் ஃபார்ம் ஆர் இன் எனி ஃபார்ம் தட் இஸ் தி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் திங் so uh, the uh, review can be made in three stages 
first stage the second stage and then like that third stages are there so in this way the uh, review can be made with this we conclude this video